Hey guys, Double Wide 6 here, and uh, we're learning a little bit about repairing lawn mowers and small engine equipment. And I figured I'd let you guys know how I get parts and where you locate all the model numbers and that type of stuff. So, the first thing that you need to know is that on most equipment, you have the equipment itself and the engine. So, the equipment itself here would be the handles, the green mower deck, all that stuff, the wheels. And then the uh, engine would be the engine itself. So, because of that, you're going to have two different model numbers. So, on a lot of mowers, you can look and you'll find a sticker, like right down here, and that'll tell you the model number. And you'd use that model number to find anything like wheels, cables for your mowers, all that type of stuff. The engines have their own model number stamped right on them. So, this thing is a simple Briggs and Stratton. And if we look at the front of the shroud here, you're going to see that you have your model, your type, and your code. And incidentally, with the Briggs and Stratton, if you look at the third set of numbers, so there's your model, there's your type, E1 is part of the type, and then down here that says 06. Those first two numbers are the year that the uh, engine was built. So that's on a Briggs and Stratton. So right here I have a, a Honda mower, and once again, you have your mower tag right there, that'll give you that model number. And then the engine on a Honda, a lot of times they put it right down by the uh, oil stick, right by the dipstick here. There's a dipstick, and right here on this plate, it's actually stamped in. So that's your engine model number. So here's a tractor. Um, yeah, I didn't sell this thing yet. I decided I would uh, change the needle and seat, so I'm waiting on those two parts before I sell it. And uh, we're going to pop the seat up, and if you look underneath, you'll see your model number on these stickers for your tractor. This one's an MTD. And if you pump, pop, or, uh, pop the hood, you can see we have a Briggs and Stratton in here. And on the overhead Briggs engines, they write the numbers right on the uh, cover for the overhead valves. This thing here is Craftsman pressure washer. So there's a sticker down here on the side. Okay, that's for the pressure washer itself, including the pump. And then um, this engine's a Tecumseh. A lot of times they have a sticker on them. So right on the back here of the shroud, you could see a sticker. And uh, the DOM, that's Data Manufacturer 0298. So February 98 was when that one was built. This one is a Craftsman lawnmower. Um, right here's a sticker for a lawnmower part. And the engine happens to be a Briggs and Stratton. So it should be underneath here. There's a shroud right there. Model type code 00. This is a 2000. I happen to have an Aaron snowblower here, and if we look down on the bottom of the back here, we see an Aaron sticker that'll give you your model so you can find any snowblower parts there. And then there's a Tecumseh Snow King engine on there. And the Tecumsehs, once again, they usually have a sticker on them. And if we look underneath the throttle down here, there is a sticker, and that'll tell us all the parts for the engine if we get those numbers written down. One thing to note, I've seen this in the past, it might be true with walk-behind mowers as well, like commercial ones, but the, the part of this thing that has the wheels might have a separate model number than the chute itself. I've already seen different numbers on the chutes than you see on the, the wheel assembly or the tractor assembly. So that's something to keep in mind if you're looking for parts. You've heard me use the word shroud. This is the shroud of an engine. This thing's from a Kawasaki engine. And uh, if you look, you can see your, your model number right here. It's a sticker on the side of the shroud. So that's, that's how you find it on a Kawasaki. So this here is valve cover, overhead valves from a Briggs and Stratton engine and you can see how all the numbers are written on there. I'm going to use this as an example to show you how to look up the parts. 
So once you locate your model numbers and what you want, what you want to do is come to your computer, and I usually use this website, partstree.com. So you want to type that in. And once you get to their website, um, what you're going to do is you're going to see like kind of like their home page. And they have different brands of equipment. So Aaron, Zecco, MTD, Skag, Toro, all these brands are here. Remember, these are equipment brands up top. Down at the bottom is actually the engine brand. So if you have Tecumseh, Briggs & Stratton, Honda, Kawasaki, Kohler, all those are down there. So uh, I wrote down a model number for the MTD tractor I currently have and that's just going to be under MTD so if I go to MTD and we click on that so once you click on MTD power equipment you can see that you know they have everything edgers, hedge trimmers, we want lawn and garden tractor 2000 and after so we'll click that and now what we want to do is find our model number okay so we're just going to scroll down this list until we get to the model number we wrote down it's 13 a.m. so I'm going down here a little bit 13 a.m. Um, and 660 G752 right there is our model so we click that and when we get in here you can see all the parts and remember this is the parts for the tractor so we'll just look at something real simple so uh, let's say we need a new seat because our seats cracked pretty common and it'll show you a complete picture so you see like an exploded working drawing of the uh, tractor and for the seat it says that's part 40 so you can scroll down in the bottom here and when you get down to number 40 you can see your seat MTD low back seat black has the part number and it's only hundred and forty one dollars sweet that costs more than the entire tractor so there's your parts so that's how you can locate like a part for any of your equipment. Now we're going to find an engine part. So the engine that we're looking for, I happen to have that little shroud here from the uh, valve cover thing. We're going to go to Briggs and Stratton and according to that it's model 31H777. So if we look at these numbers real close, you want to get into the 3000. So it's going to be in here. So click that and then we're going to try and locate uh, 31H so we're going down 31H and you can see it's in here right there 31H 700 and it's going to be in here and when you get in there you can then look at your 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 next number so we're looking for 31H777 0202E1 so we gotta scroll down a little bit 0202E1 so this apparently is our engine and when we get in there you can see all the parts of the engine so if you're looking for a carb part like uh, you need a needle or a seat you can click on carburetor and that'll bring you in here and you can look at all the different parts and according to what I'm seeing here they actually have two different carburetors you can have a Nikki carburetor or you can have a, a Walbro carburetor for this particular tractor so you'd need to know what carburetor you have and then you'd find your parts so that this website I find it very well set up easy to use it's partstree.com and it just makes it real easy to find your engine parts and uh, you know you can order everything online and if you have any issues you can call up here 
and you can talk to someone on the phone because once in a while you'll be looking for a part and it won't show up on the engineering drawing so you can call them and they can usually find it they're very helpful so hopefully this video helps some of you guys out I appreciate you watching and I ask that you please subscribe